How we doing? It's CCA Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. <clears throat> so today I want to talk about anxiety and depression. Something that's plagued me for basically my whole life. Anxiety and depression are through the roof nowadays. And, uh, you know, just because, you know, a lot of people look at me and say, Nick, you're a confident guy. You fight MMA. You're a tough guy. Sure, you don't uh, suffer from anxiety and depression. Just recently, it hasn't been a, made as big of an impact on my life as it has in the past. When I was younger, this anxiety and depression fucking killed me. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be unfiltered in this one. I YouTube will probably demonetize me. Whatever. I want to speak unfiltered today. Um, so when I was younger, this it really like I had horrible anxiety uh, I remember when I was younger I had um, I had to present something in front of the class and I skipped school I didn't want to do it uh, you know water lessons I skipped uh, swimming lessons uh, I had I had horrible anxiety and uh, you know as I got older the, my depression got worse when I was um, I've been on basically every uh, anti-anxiety medication, Xanax, uh, every benzo basically, Ativan, Clonopin, I've been on it all. Uh, depression, I've been on Zoloft. But it's been like eight years since I, um, since I've taken taken any uh, medication. And I know this type of um, this type of talk is kind of frowned upon, especially in the, especially among guys. Uh, Patty Pimlet, who's a UFC fighter, he brought light onto the situation where his buddy, uh, you know, deleted himself because, uh, you know, because of depression. So, you know, it's a silent killer. A lot of a lot of people going through it that you wouldn't think. And like I said, a lot of people assume, oh, you're a confident guy, Nick. You're an MMA fighter. You're a tough dude. Sure, you don't uh, deal with that type of stuff. Everybody has their own demons, inner battles that they're going through, and. Uh, you know, the anxiety and depression right now, you know, I, I'm always going to deal with it. I'm, it's never going to leave my life, depression, anxiety, it's never going to leave my life. But, you know, I minimize it to where it hasn't been as big of an impact as it has been in the past. Because, like I said, I'm when I was younger, I had, I had it really bad. Uh, didn't like social situations, didn't like, uh, you know, presenting stuff in front of people. And now I have a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, fought MMA and arenas and, you know, things like that. So, uh, it's definitely, uh, I think, so for me, it changed when I, so eight years ago, it was around like eight years ago, I, I started self-improvement, self-development. I started working on myself. I was like, I, I gotta stop feeling sorry for myself. I gotta, you know, make something of myself because... You know, I wasn't happy. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have a. I didn't have a good job. Uh, girls didn't look my way. I had no confidence, no self-esteem, and uh, you know, I was like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. And I feel like the one of the biggest factors of getting out of that depressive rut, out of that like being depressed all the time, having no ambition, having no drive. Uh, the biggest impact I think for me was surrounding myself with positive people, people with a positive mindset, people who had goals, people who had, you know, different way of thinking because you are who you hang out with. And if you hang out with bums who are constantly complaining, constantly being negative, that's what you're going to be, that's what you're going to become. And I feel if you, once I started, once I started training MMA, once I started hanging out with my buddy Tom uh, dealing with MMA fighters, it's like a totally, they got a totally different mindset about, about life, they, they chase their goals, they're ultra masculine, they're ultra, ultra like, and I'm not saying like ultra masculine as in like they don't show like emotion, nothing like that, because a lot of these guys, you know, deal with depression, anxiety, a lot of people go through it, just because it's not, it's not, a uh, it's, you're not a rare case if you have it, and it's, it's pretty common, so, uh, don't feel like you're abnormal because you got it. 
you know, like I said, I still go with, through it. And you guys probably wouldn't assume that because I'm, you know, on these videos, like on my mission, things like that. Especially when you're on your mail routes, you got all this time to think. And uh, you're like, oh, the negative thoughts start, start creeping up on you. But like I said, when you surround yourself with positive, like-minded people, that's what you're going to become. And I feel like that's a chain reaction in the post office because a lot of people bitch. A lot of people complain. A lot of people just negative and they're not thankful for what they got. And uh, it's sad. It's sad. It's a chain reaction. People, like I said, bitch, complain, and uh, that rolls downhill. Then the CCA see the regulars complaining, and then they complain. And uh, you got to change the cycle. You got to change the cycle. Start being positive. Start looking things with the glasses half full mindset because, you know, once I, once I flip my mindset to where, you know, when I was younger, I was always, like, emotional. I'd get angry real quick. I'd, uh, you know, I would be frustrated if I didn't understand something, you know. But once you change your mindset to where, you know, it's okay, you kind of accept it, but also, you know, try to be the best be the best version of your imperfect self that's kind of how i looked at it and uh you know i i try to make sure i'm like okay i'm not perfect but i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna work hard and be the best version of my imperfect self that's how i looked at it so surround yourself with positive like-minded people uh have a have goals write down goals and and achieve those goals because having goals gives you a purpose and it gives you some sort of reason in life because like you see people who retire they go right back to work in a lot of them because uh they need a, that mission that purpose in life to give them meaning and if you're not doing nothing you feel like you're being unproductive you're being uh <clears throat> you're not being a productive like member of society and you start getting depressed and you know, one, but once you you keep your mind busy, you uh, you know start making money. You start uh, you know surrounding yourself with like with positive people. You start um, you know having a mission, having a purpose in life. That's the biggest thing, because a lot of times depression will you know stop you from having goals, having ambition. It will kill your mindset, and uh, it's just. Uh, you know, you got to you got to really work hard because uh depression could, you know, get its grip on you and uh like I said, it's a silent killer and a lot of people are going through it. A lot of people you wouldn't expect uh Robin Williams, uh the Linkin Park singer, uh a lot of people who you think who have it all, they might be fighting battles you don't even know about. So, <clears throat> you know, just try to <clears throat> just try to combat it the best way you can. You know, in my situation, like eight the the past eight years around, I I've been constantly self improving, watching videos on YouTube, like you know Kobe Bryant interviews, uh, Navy SEALs talking about their job, um, you know actors I I posted in that community post Robert De Niro, dude had a he has a purpose and he became a lot of people would say he's crazy if you think about what the things he's done to. You know, be a good actor, like changing his body weight. And uh, I, Henry Hill said in an interview that uh, he, De Niro kept calling him and asking him how to, like, Jimmy hold his, Jimmy Burke hold his cigarette. And he wanted to get his character down, like, to almost, it was like, people call it, uh, you know, he was crazy. But no, he was just passionate about what he did. So, um, I like watching stuff like that because it gives me motivation definitely like youtube is such a great tool you can watch people who motivate you and uh you know there's some people i watch on youtube who just give me goosebumps and i'm like i want to they give you that fire you need that mission you need that purpose in your life you need positive people around you uh just try to change your environment and don't let it uh and don't feel like you can't talk about it because i'm on here on a fucking platform public platform where i'm being monitored by a lot of people who i know uh people who follow me who i i uh known from here so uh you know this is being vulnerable here so don't be afraid to talk about it i'd rather what did patty say he said i'd rather uh hear your story than uh read your 
or see your fu or go to your funeral or something some i'm butchering it terribly but uh you know always be, uh, never be afraid to uh especially me too you know i, I always reply to every in instagram dm so if you ever feel like you're depressed if you have anxiety in the post office if a lot of people who follow me are postal employees so there's there's postal resources you could uh utilize for somebody to listen to your problems and things like that but feel free to message me feel free to message me uh anxiety and depression are very real we just got to combat it do you got to do the right things to to combat it so i know this is a different video than i normally do but i really wanted to talk about it uh it's uh few pe few people i know struggle with it and uh, i struggle with it and uh, i just try to combat it every day uh try to stay busy try to stay motivated try to stay on my purpose I don't I don't take medication for it no more uh, it's been a long time I really don't want I don't like taking medication I don't even drink really so I don't like taking shit um, I just exercise work make money uh, spend time with my friends who will have positive thinking if you're a negative Nancy if you're uh if you're always bitching complaining you know I I don't let you in my circle I'm I, you're not my friend <laughs> you're not my friend uh, you know, I'll try to, you know, I'll try to sway you in the right direction, but, uh, some people are just setting their ways with their negative mindset. And, uh, I know th bad things happen in life, but, uh, you know, we got to stay positive over here. We got to train our minds to think positive. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but, uh, you gotta, you gotta train yourself, train yourself and, uh, surround yourself with the right people and, uh, the right the right things to help you succeed so thank you all for watching my dms are always open and i'll see you guys in the next video